Welcome back. So now I'm going to do the um, uh, 2013 question 5 AI and this is you're asked to find the opening stock if the rate of stock turnover is 10 based on average stock. I have the solutions written in here or the answers just but I'll go through the solution nevertheless and how we get to that answer. So this is one of those ones where uh, it mentions uh, rate of stock turnover and also average stock. It's one where we'll have to use two different formulas to, to get to our final answer. So since they give you the stock turnover rate as 10, that's the first formula we're going to use. So first of all, we'll write down the formula. So A, I, uh, stock turnover, is equal to cost of sales divided by average stock and then we sub in what we know. Well, they tell us that uh, the rate of stock turnover is 10. So stock turnover is 10. So where we have stock turnover here, we can substitute 10 in as the answer. Uh, cost of sales then. Well, over here in our little mini trading profit and loss account, we have cost of goods sold, which is the same as cost of sales. So that's 852,000. Divided by average stock. So we don't know what the average stock is. But we are going to use this formula. We're going to solve this equation, if you like, and we're going to find the value of the average stock. So this is how I do it mathematically. I would uh, cross multiply. I'd say 10 times average stock is 1 times uh, 852,000. So 10 times average stock Oops. So I'm just cross multiplying is equal to 1 times 852,000, which is just 852,000. So then I'm going to divide across by 10 to find the value of average stock. And 852,000 divided by 10 is 85,200. So that's average stock. So now we go back to the question and it says find the opening stock. We can skip this because we used it. Find the opening stock and we know what the average stock is. So now we use the average stock formula. So again, writing down the formula first. Average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock divided by two. Opening stock plus closing stock divided by two. And again, with this formula, we're going to sub in what we know, substitute instead of average stock, we're going to write down 85,200 because that's what it says it is. 85,200 equal to, well we're looking for the opening stock so we can't put anything in instead of that yet. Opening stock. Closing stock. Although we're not given the closing stock here in this trading profit and loss account, we know that if we go down into this little balance sheet here, in the current assets, it says including stock 31,500. And in the current asset, it always, uh, in current assets in the balance sheet, it always gives you the closing stock rather than the opening stock. So that is your figure for closing stock, 31,500. So plus 31,500 and divide that by two. So again, we've created an equation, an equation with one unknown. So we can solve the equation and find out the value of the unknown, which is the opening stock. And that is what we were asked to find in the first place. So again, I like to do a bit of cross multiplying, put this over one, uh, 85,200 multiplied by two is equal to opening stock plus 31,500 by one. So 85,200 by two is going to be, let's see, 160, 170, 400, I'd say. 170,400. So when I multiply this by two, and one multiplied by opening stock plus this is just opening stock plus that. Okay, finally then I'm gonna bring the 31,500 over to the other side 
and it becomes a minus when I bring it over. Minus 31,500 is equal to the opening stock value. And then calculating this here, 17400 minus this, will give me uh, 138,900 euros and it's important to show the units as well in all of your answers in this question is the opening stock and that's it